Right, it's very, very hot tonight, so I've got the fan going, and you can probably hear the fan going in the background. But here we go, 18650, and let's measure the voltage. It's got 4.2 volts in it. Right, so, uh, yeah. Go in there. 4.2 volts. Okay. Right. So we want to put a, uh, an LED on there. And the LED I did have. It's disappeared. Right. As you can see, I've got the LED in my resistor. Need a resistor as a load, and we've got 4.23 volts. So let's connect our resistor on there. That should get it in the right place. Go on there and change colours. I don't know if you can see the colour change. Camera will probably crash the minute I turn this off. Yep, yeah, we've got colour change. And blue is the hardest one to do. And what we're going to do now is measure the voltage. And it's still 4.2 volts. Look at that. 4.2 volts. And we've got our LED changing colour. And it is red, blue and green. And I've turned it off so that you get a better view. Here's the voltage. Oh, here's the voltage. While it's there. Oh, stay on. There's the voltage. Oh, what was it from? Oh, stay there. Don't stay there, being awkward. Live video. Where's the way? There you go. And we still got our 4.2 volts. Now we want to measure how many milliamps it's using. And to do that, we have to go in series with the circuit. So, what we will do is unplug the resistor. Disconnect that and switch to the 200 milliamp range. But this time we're going to go positive to that end of the resistor and get it in there. Pop up. Positive to this end of the resistor. Through the hole. Oh. Yeah, I thought it's, everything would stay where it's put. Right, that's got that going. Next thing we've got to do is we've got it on there, is connect that back to there, and now measure the current. But it's nothing happening. Why is nothing happening? Because we're not in series with the circuit. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, let's go on the 20 milliamp range. No. Why is that drawing lots of current? Why is that drawing lots of current? Go, 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 go. It's 
go on the 10M range. To do that, we've got to move them. See if the 10M range is working. And it shows it is because we're drawing 20 milliamps. We was right, so our micro amp range has packed up. All the looks of things. Oops, come back. See if we're doing this wrong. It shouldn't matter where you put the ammeter in, but positive to negative. Just got to get the connector in there. Yeah, there you go. Does help getting it round the right way. As you can see, we are now recording and no current measurement. Current measurement oh, is so low. in 10 milliamps. All right, let's go back to our section again. Just bend this the right shape. So it hooks on. Hook. But the meter's going off scale. So what's wrong there? The LED is lighting. My mm, camera's gone. Right, as we saw, this is what was underneath the uh, multimeter, just to hold it up in the air in the right position. And what I should have done is put the battery in the one with the clips. Right, so start again. Let's get that out of there. Set this up. That can go in there. There, can clip on that one, that can clip on there, and we're working, but you can't see it, that's why it's pushing it out of the way. Well, still out of shot. Right, we'll move it up there, why's the meter moving? Mines are their own. Mines are there, right? Anyway. As you can see, we've got our LED, battery and resistor. And it's on and working. And uh, we want to know how many volts is still there. So the battery beforehand had 4.2. Now we're going to measure this point and get it on there and this point and we still have 4.2 volts even though the circuit's running. If I could keep my hand still. So there you go, 4.2 volts still.
So now we want to know how many, how much current we're drawing. And to do that, we need to um, unclip here. Clip on the black one. Turn this to 200 milliamps. Right, and not come off of there. Connect. Now we've got a connection. We're not measuring any milliamps. Some is there something wrong with the meter? Could be. Twenty milliamps range. Nothing. Nothing. What's gone wrong? So we change this to the ten amp range. So that's twenty. It's died off at forty milliamps. And there we go, we're 20, 10 milliamps. But don't forget we are on the 10 milliamp range. Just a quick thing to show. When I want to get out a battery from one of these cases, it is very awkward. You can see I've bent this one, bent that one, trying to get them out. The easiest way is to get your Cadbury's lolly stick, keep it, slide the battery back so you can get in there and just pop it out with a lolly stick. Simple. Right, I should get on with stripping this all back down and having a look inside my multimeter to see what's gone wrong. Right. I've got two identical, or three identical meters actually, that's why it's numbered one, and this is number three, which is actually plugged in and working. There, and if we get our circuit back, we take number one out, and number one's the one that seems to be, I use the most, so I must have done something to pop the uh, thing. We'll bring our circuit back, plug our battery back in, connect up again. Right, there we go, we're working. Working okay. And um, we go round to our 200 milliamp on a different on this different meter. And see what current we're drawing. Right, so current goes in series. Oh, I know that. I must have done something wrong at one point. So to go in series, go there. Oh, and that goes there. And according to that, we're drawing 6.9 milliamps. You can't quite see that. I'll put that under there and you should be able to see that, see that now. Try and keep this still on this one. Set. There you go. Oh, come off. Right, a multimeter that works, 6.9 milliamps. So I wonder what's wrong with the. Uh, this one, I've stripped it open now. All ready for strip down. So we'll just clear this out away and next thing you'll see is the strip down. So there you go, this is meter number one and number two. Number one is the one that's playing up. Number two is a good working one. So let's have a look at the circuits and compare circuits. And what we will do is we'll bring the camera down and zoom in 
We can zoom in here, but I don't know how good it would be. Which was number one? That's number one. And I will get a pen and mark them. Number one and two. Yeah, I got a. Okay, that's number one. That's number two. That's about only you can see that. Can't see that on red one I've marked it in red. On the one and two. So we know what we're looking at. Let's see if we can zoom into this. Right, what we're looking at there is inside number of my meter number two and thunder and lightning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that come out on the uh, got picked up by the microphone in the laptop. And um, what we're looking at there, I'll turn it up the right way because the resistor I want to talk about is the one R double O that you can see but the piece of metal bar that you can see there looks like a metal bar is the current shunt and that's where anything that's coming in uh, or anything you're measuring as current it comes through the ground pin that's where you plug in the common pin turn it over and show you uh, the common pin, right, the common, turn it over again, back to where we was, common pin, and goes, as you can see, the first place it's going, it's that current shunt. Well, that is a known resistor, known, it has a known resistance, and it's probably 0.1 of a ohm, yeah, 0.1. So I can't measure that amount of current, but uh, I can't measure amount of resistance with my cheap multimeter. But it would show it as a dead. It should show it as a dead short. So here we go. Chain shot. Okay, the resistor we're going to measure is first off. We're going to measure the resistance of the bar, the shunt, shunt bar, then we're going to measure that resistor there. Now this is number two, this is a perfectly working one because you don't get a schematic. When I first bought one of these meters, years ago, and um, we uh, got with it a diagram of, set, uh, of the circuit. It used to come with it. I'm all, I'm all tangled up with a USB. Oh, and I've got a creaky chair now. Right, we're on there. Where's my lead gone? Down the floor. Down on the floor. Where else? Right, and I'll tip it that way, then you can get a sort of view. Put this on the lowest ohms setting, this one. Put this on the lowest ohms. And we measure the bridge. Now, like I said, probably 0.1 ohms. 0.1, and it looks like the battery's going flat. 0.1 ohms, it goes to there. And what we got here. That's a one ohm resistor as it says on the package. Let's try there. What we got here. And that's a 10 ohm resistor. So we got 0.1 ohm in the bridge, 1 ohm in that one, and 10 ohms in that one. Yeah. But it said 9 ohms. So 0.1, we're not even going to register 0.1. It says 0.8. What do we get when we're 
shorten the leads out. Putting the leads together. Point, point 0.6 when we're shortening them together. At the other end of the bar we've got the shunt bar. At the other end of the shunt bar, I, know, I think I've knocked it off with that thing. Don't want to influence it. I think the battery's died. I think the battery's gone. Yeah, battery's died. I'm blame. I'm. Yeah, battery's died. But anyway, you saw there. That we've because uh, the battery's saying needs the battery to be charged. But I got to find the charger because I don't know where the charger's gone. So I've got to find a way of charging a nine volt battery. Hmm. I know how to do it. I've got lots of 18650s here, so I will make up a 12 volt pack, get a dropper resistor, 220 ohm dropper resistor, stick the other battery across one, one battery across the other battery, and uh, charge it. Right, here we go. This is uh, how to not fast charge your battery. Right, we have three uh, 18650s in series, so I'm just connecting together down here to that one, to the negative, and then putting it on there, so we've got 11.71 volts. Yeah, 11.17, sure, right, that's because I'm moving everything about. Right. 11.17 volts. It has to go across the meter, doesn't it? Right, there you go. 11.17 volts. Now we measure when I can get them to let go. What's in this battery? In the wrong way. Because the grip is negative and the top is positive. It should have more than that in it. About four volts. All right. Oh. Won't stay on there. Yeah, we've got about four volts, right? So this battery is about 15 years old. So, and I do really mean it is about 15 years old. So what we do is. As you can see, that's a negative end. So we go negative to negative and positive to positive. And we do that for a minute. And remember, this was just 4.7 volts. And uh, put that back in shot for a minute. We'll give it a minute. And this is how you can fast charge batteries with other with other batteries and we're only going to give this a minute because if we when we, we keep checking it every minute said said about 30 seconds so far a minute don't take long but this is how not to do it <laughs> but as I say this is a really really old rechargeable 9 volt battery about 15 years old and we are just coming up to a minute it is another 5 seconds to go we go, just coming up to about a minute there you go we just uh, just over a minute that was in charge for now it's not hot it's quite cold now let's take a reading where's my negative gone Negative connection, positive connection. We're now from four volts, we're up to 8.3 volts in one minute. So, this is how to fast charge your batteries. But do remember, fast charging a battery 
gives it a shorter life. And this one's, as I said, is about 15 years old. And I've done this to this battery hundreds of times when I needed a fast charge battery. But I've only given it a minute of charge at a time and then checked it. Oh, you can't see. It's moved out of shot. Only giving it about a minute of charge. It's the only trouble. When everything moves on your bench. Oh, by the way, the uh, battery that's in meter number two is the one that I said, oh, it went flat and I just done this to it. And uh, this is just a few minutes later. What have we got? 30 second mark. I'm going to do it at 30, because we were close to our voltage that we want. I'm going to, oh, that's good. That was the end of me. End of me negative lead come off. I'll solder that back on in a minute. Not having a good day today with stuff. What have we got now? I can hold it there. 8.3 volts. Yeah, can go for another minute. And it is away for another minute. So you can see this is really, really fast charging your batteries. I never did measure. Where did that go? All the way over there. The negative wire. Oh, the negative wire came off. The negative connector. A quick pulley one. Looking typical. Homemade leads. Shoddy workmanship. No. It's lots of work, but uh, I am coming up for 30 seconds, 35 seconds. And uh, we'll measure the DC voltage again in a minute on the bat on the 18650s. But as you can see, three minutes from a dead battery to a full battery. But uh, where are we coming? Coming up to. Another five seconds, I think. I think it was. Yeah, it's had a minute. Take it back off. And it's quite cold. I know what we're going at. Oh. Come on. 8.5. Can have another minute. And it'll be for a bit of fully charged battery. Come on. Over there. Over there. And that's positive to positive, negative to negative. Let me do that. And you get your. Right, where are we? Oh, it's at... I didn't look at the time, so I'll say that's a minute. And from there, about 20 seconds in, that was the fridge pop. I don't know if it picked that up, the fridge popping, but it did. The fridge just went pop. The uh, spark gap just sparked. Been doing that rather a lot recently on my fridge. But... Um, yeah, there you go. Another 10 seconds and that would be a minute again. Five seconds. And as you can see, we've spent about five minutes max, 10 minutes here charging this oh no, Three, four minutes charging. Well and truly a minute's gone there. Take it off, see how it's cold. Wires always tangle up on your meters. 
Only now we may allay it. Just like 0.5. We measure it and put, the mate and put that on. There. Click that on top of it. And why am I using red leads? Because I can't find the black lead. Right, what have we got on the, on the batteries? We've got 11.55. No, I'm holding it on the battery connector. 11.55. That battery's come out short, like it always does. I'll now put that on there. And we'll see what we've got on there. 10.9. Oh, and I've just lost me. Just lost me negative lead, my negative wire. So. Just join all this together and connect that under there, hold it there, measure the voltage. 10.9 volts we're giving it on the 11 volt source. So, uh, yep, we'll just keep this uh, going till we get up to our 9 volts, and or as soon as it hits 9 volts should drop be dropping. I can get that in there to rest in there. No, not on me, on there. What's that more than the eight bolts? Eight bolts? Oh we've come off at the other end. <laughs> Now we should have 10 volts. Right, was that? This stop? Yeah, that was the camera cut out. Right, cut. Start right, recording again. Why oh, that died, unless we're set to a minimum length. But the camera cut out as well. We're up at 11 volts now. So let's have a look and see what this is. 8.6 keep going yeah. but this is as I say don't do this if you've got brand new batteries because it Yes, it gets you out of a hole and it's pretty quick to charge up. It's super fast charging. Yeah, and as it goes up you can go you can look. It keeps coming off. Right, on there. This one is taking a lot, a lot longer than a newer battery, obviously. Yeah. It's bound to happen because of my thinking. Shaky hands! Not without the shaky hands on the phone. Oh, 
I want to stay on there all the time when I was mucking about with it before. Right, stay there. But that would be enough to run the dot left in that bat measuring what's left in the battery. Eleven point four was eleven point seven remember. Just see what we've got left in the battery. See what we've got in the battery now. Eight point four. That should be enough to make get everything out of the way. It's a little tester work now it wouldn't work before. Yep, working now and then it says 8.21. 8.21 volts. An unknown If you can see that, let's try and drop this down. It's telling me the voltage of it. 8.1 so it, it's working quite well and you can see the voltage is dropping but if you want to test something quickly and your battery's flat that's how to quick charge your battery Right, we're, uh, first we'll take some readings here, we've uh, got number 3, and that's number 2 if you look, you can see it just about, number 2, and number 1's over here, the repair, but uh, what we should be getting on R15, I think it's, no 13, sorry, R13, because this is a fully working meter we should get around 1 ohm as you can see around the 1 ohm mark this is the offending resistor you can get it to come off the finger that's the offending resistor and we'll have to turn this up to 200k and as you can see, it's coming out of 56k or 54k, 55k there and out. Now, I didn't have any 1 ohm resistors, so we used three of these smaller ones, oh, come on, which are 3 ohm. Should be 3 ohm, yes. Oh, I see why. Does it have to turn it back down, doesn't it? There we go, 3.5 3 ohm. Um, they're meant to be 3 ohm, but that's as close as you can get. And the battery's died again. This is a couple of days later, obviously. And, and this is number one. And what we've done was stacked three of those, three of those, I know you can't quite see them, I will zoom in in a minute, definitely zoom in in a minute, um, but what we've done is we put three in series and got our one point, oh, slipped off, and got our one ohm that way, and uh, 
battery up to charge that battery up. You have to do a, a fast charge again. <laughs> not, not very clever doing the fast charge the way I do it, but it only takes minutes to charge your battery. Literally, within about five minutes, your battery's charged. The way I do it, and people say fast charging kills your batteries, but I'm probably repeating this out, I might just cut this bit out again. Um, but you take your battery and just stuff it across the other batteries at a slightly higher voltage than what you want. But you do have to keep uh, uh, an eye on it. What's this one? 7.7. .7. It's going to do with a bit more in it. And what I do, bang it in, there's a bit of paper over there, because I can never remember, you look at it, it's on the side on this one, luckily it's on the side. I don't know if you can see that. Now, let's take it over to this camera. Well, go the right way, as you can see it's marked on the side. And the... Uh, The markings is this one here. Yeah. This one is the negative. So you know what I'm doing. I'm connecting to a 318650s. That's all I'm doing. And I go. Where's the negative? Negative is. And go put the negative on. But anyway, as you can see, now we're looking in, we're inside uh, number one, and uh, there's the uh, three three ohm resistors. And uh, if you turn it that way, will it stay? Yeah, look, you can see one, two, three. Three all stacked on top of one another. So we're doing a little bit out of focus. But uh, this is with a webcam that cost all of, I think it was £1.99 or £2.99 camera. Uh, webcam camera, £2.99. You can't get out that way, puss. I've got puss cat down by my feet. And, um, cat wants to go out. Typical, so cut. There you go, we zoom down into the uh, resistors. There's one. That's the original one. They are, and I fitted it with three of those. Yes, I know it's smaller, less wattage. Um, but there's three of them in parallel, so three three ohms in par parallel gives you one ohm, and the wattage of those will all add up so that the wattage of the three of them will be greater than the wattage of what that one was, of what that one was. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'll just go down. I don't know if I can go any small. Go any closer. I'll probably disappear off screen. Let's see if we can go in anymore. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Oh, you can nearly see the writing on them. I know they're off screen at the moment, but if you hang on, I'm trying to zoom as much as I possibly can. That. There you go. I'll go the other way now. And then we start seeing the impurities in the paper background. Look at that, you can almost see them now. I'll try and focus. I'll keep it on them.
and that is the slightest movement and that looks worse that's worse than that that's well oh no you can see the you can almost see the uh, three ohms almost It's not. Put the dirt on the paper. Because the uh, resistors are there. I'll bring it in shot. Yeah, you can see it now. Three ohms. Just about. And uh, I don't think that enough. Focus up when you go. Oh, look at that. There we go. Three ohm. Oh, well done. <laughs> Somebody came in and out the room. Move the camera now. And the camera stand. Move that over there. There you go. And you probably saw him walk by behind me. Should be back in a minute. Let's see if they uh, can get by without nudging the camera again. Here she comes, in a minute. No? No. But there you go. That's about as good as I can focus up on there. I don't know if I can get better light on there. No. It doesn't really matter where we're putting. Just keep them in the middle. But there you go. That was meant to be one I only can. It turned into a 56 or 57k, 47k, can't remember, uh, and I replaced it with three of those, so um, yeah, it's um, now working, now we shall go back, cut, ah, we've moved the camera, oh dear, not having much luck here with this, <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, you can see the stacked up components. Where's my pointer? Just there. Just there. That's in there. And uh, I've added the battery. Put the battery in. That's, that's another thing that's not very good about these meters. Is the ground what the ground there is actually touching the battery just there so at some point that'll probably break off but there again that's it that's all right nearly, nearly lost me resistors there's a, this one with the battery on And we have our meter working again, showing a display. And the only way to me measure it and make sure it's working, let's put it back on. Yep, that was decided to jump out. Gonna put it, put it on. Uh, I have to go the opposite way. Put the back on. There you go. It always, always has to go the opposite way, doesn't it? There you go. Let's see it in that one there. Not very good camera. Lights disappearing for the day. And what we should use? LED. I did, I did pick up the right one, the battery I've charged. The other one needs charging. That one in there. That one in there. Just to show it is the meter I got here. That's going to go right up to there. Excellent. Right, let me do that and show that it's a dead short on ohms, 200. 200 ohms still working. 
take the the LED put this back to 20 milliamps take an 18650 that's 220 ohm resistor 220 ohm resistor and a, one of them multi changing LEDs. That on the end, that on there, that lights up. You can't see because we've got the end in the way. And there we have six ohms. I'll move the ends out of the way. Everything's moving about, going the way you don't want it to. There you go, you can just see that. There's six ohms. Go, 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 go. Put it on the 200 milliamp range. And that's 10 amp. 200 milliamp range. And showing six, seven ohms in it. Everything's moving about, going the way you don't want it to. There you go, you can just see that. There's six ohms. Go, 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 go. Put it on the 200 milliamp range. And that's 10 amp. 200 milliamp range. And showing six, seven ohms in it. Go, 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 go. It's changing colour. So. That is working. As you can see as it changes colour. I don't know if you can see it changing colour. It's blue at the moment. It should go green. And uh, the amperage will go up and down with it. 220 ohm resistor. 18650 battery. Negative lead on the meter going to the LED. The resistor going on the negative end of the battery, and the positive lead from the meter coming to the positive on the 18650. And that's it. That's how you get your current flow, and the meter's all working again. And with a big thank you to Les, my mate, for. Uh, giving me what he had that was, was the closest for wherever, wherever it's gone now it's disappeared I oh, know there it is that's that's a daft one that's a, that's a good 3 ohm resistor mm. Pause and stop. Right, there you go. That's the uh, 0803 and 0802. I think that's what their numbering is. I'm not you're sure you'll tell me. But um, that's the end of the video. Replaced, meter working, everything up and going. Took a couple of days because I didn't have the bits, but my mate did. And uh, there you go. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm doing the opposite thumbs. Um, <laughs> and uh, in the link you'll below in the uh, show more, you'll find the link to, if you want to sponsor my YouTube channel and uh, be a patron. Much appreciated. All the details are booked down below in the show more. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe as well if you haven't.